I'm passionate about uh, stroke and I'm passionate about uh, creating awareness and helping stroke patients. Hi, uh, I'm Dr. Shirish Hastak. I'm a neurologist and uh, basically I'm uh, trained as a DM Neurology from the Topiwala National Medical College in Bombay. And then I have done a fellowship in stroke in from Canada. My lifetime motto is to prevent uh, hand leg from being lost for a lifetime. And I think this is what I'm pursuing uh, at uh, the Vocard Hospital at present. Stroke is basically a blood vessel block or a rupture of the blood vessel in the brain. Uh, so this is also called Lakwa or uh, in Marathi Pakshaghat. And uh, so this is one of the devastating disorders. And uh, uh, what I would like to emphasize is that uh, you can get a stroke, uh, you know, uh, at any time. And it is like lightning hitting your head out of the blue. So I think it's very important for everyone to be aware and uh, to know that stroke is basically a brain disorder. It is not applied to the heart or any other organ and it means a blood vessel block or a rupture of the blood vessel in the brain. You can have basically two types of strokes. Uh, when the blood vessel is blocked, it's called an ischemic stroke. If the blood vessel is ruptured, it's called a hemorrhagic stroke. You can also think of a stroke which does not happen inside the brain but in the coverings of the brain and this is called a subarachnoid hemorrhage. So these are the types of strokes. 80% of strokes are ischemic and 20% are hemorrhagic. So ischemic strokes are much more common than hemorrhagic. The uh, symptoms of stroke basically is a sudden loss of speech or a sudden loss of uh, hand leg function or a sudden loss of vision or a sudden confusion. And so these can be strokes. Majority of strokes occur after 60. And the causes of stroke after 60 are usually arterial disease. And this arterial disease is called atherosclerosis, which is basically a blood vessel uh, deposit of uh, cholesterol and lipids. And this leads to narrowing of the blood vessel, which then leads to a stroke by forming clots. The other things in this country we need to remember is that even heart problems like valvular heart diseases or clots in the heart or heart attacks can form clots and then dislodge them into the brain and can lead to stroke. Uh, the diagnosis of stroke is basically based on imaging and the imaging may be a CT scan or an MRI of the brain. So I think that is important for a stroke patient. So you really need imaging, you need an e ECG, you need a 2D echo and maybe some imaging of the aorta as well. This is the minimum requirement for a stroke worker. Uh, when a patient gets a stroke, I think the most important thing for him is to realize that he's got a stroke. So he must know the symptoms of stroke. And this has been well described by the World Stroke Organization by the term FAST. That means if you lose your face, that means your face turns to one side, you lose your arm or your leg, which is the A, you lose your speech, which is the S, and T is stands for time. So face, arm, speech, time. Time means you have to rush to the hospital as fast as possible. This is an emergency. So I think stroke is basically a multi-centric, multi-team approached uh, area. And I think this is what is our, our dream and our plan with the work hard, that we, uh, we develop this multidisciplinary team so that uh, life wins. Uh, in our attempt to reach you by different ways, uh, we also feel we should reach you through the digital and through the uh, me other media. So we have set up uh, the vocardstrokeinstitute.com as a website for you to see. On this website, we have tried to set up all the uh, stroke awareness. We've also set up the stroke symptoms. We also have a stroke riscometer on this website. So please feel free to go onto the website and check your own risk of getting a stroke because we don't want that anyone should suffer from a stroke. Uh, but if it happens, we also want that he should be treated in time and he should come to us in time and we can offer you proper care uh, by this uh, 10 different specialists who are available as the work hard stroke team. I think that uh, we need to create awareness together and uh, you are the other side of the, of the team which also I need to build up. So please come to the Vocart uh, Stroke Support Group and also help us create awareness in stroke. By this way, we'll be able to prevent a hand leg from getting paralyzed and from losing life. So I think ultimately life wins.